Hello friends and welcome to Mission Viewfinder. Today we want to share with you just a few glimpses into our visit with the Norton family in Sukhothai. The Nortons were living in America and they have eight kids. Uh, the youngest of which is now five. He was four when they left America. And you would think of all the people, I mean, a family with eight kids, surely they wouldn't have to go to the mission field, right? Well, God placed a burden on their heart and they said yes. They came with five kids. Well, guess what? Now they have five more kids that they're taking care of. Um, two from the slums of Bangkok and three more from family situations where they couldn't be cared for. And it is just an example that you just have to be willing to let God use you. Now the first two kids that came were Wind and Sky, their brother and sister, and they came from a very, very bad situation. Um, there was, I didn't actually see it, but they told me they saw a picture of Wind, the little boy, when he was about seven, and he was drinking and smoking. And when they told me that, it was just like my brain started to hurt, just thinking about a seven-year-old little boy doing those things. But to see the way that they've come, and when they, they're a handful, um, much more so when they first came, there was, you know, a language barrier, hugely, um, and a ton, a ton of baggage and attitude issues and stuff, understandably. And so it's just been really awesome to see, because we got to see them when they first you know, like a couple weeks after they went to live with the Nortons. It's been so awesome to see them. And I want to share a story with you of that change visibly in action. On Sabbath morning, Robbie and I went with the kids on a walk. We walked around some rice fields and here and there and just out in nature. And it was, it was really nice. Just on the outskirts of their little village or area there, um, there's a lady and her husband, and they uh, live in basically a little shack. Um, has a roof and sort of walls, kind of tarp, and it's, they're pretty poor. And um, so we were talking to them, and Wind and Sky were talking to, to this lady a lot, and they found out that she didn't have rice that day. And I remember seeing Wind, he was telling Robbie, and he said it like five, six, seven times, like he just kept saying it. She doesn't have any rice for today. She doesn't have any rice for today. Like, can we go and bring rice and give it to her? Because she doesn't have any rice today. And I was just like, wow, that's really cool. And then, so we went back to the house, and they got some rice, and they were bringing it back. and. The lady and her husband had gone somewhere. And so they just left it there. And then as we were walking away uh, and back to their house, I asked Wind. I'm like, so we went and we gave the rice to them. They didn't have rice today. How does that make you feel? He said, oh, it makes me feel happy. Now this was all in Thai and my Thai is not real good. So it's, it's just the big picture concepts I'm sharing with you because I couldn't do it word for word. But he started to talk about how, you know, when we help others, when we give to help others and serve others, God likes that. It makes him happy and it makes us happy. And then he could start, just kept talking and talking and talking. And I was like, what an incredible thing. This boy who, you know, three years ago, he was smoking and drinking in a slum. And now he's like seeing opportunities to help others 
and he's wanting to help and then he recognizes that he's happy because he's serving God and he's helping others. I just thought that was such a beautiful story of what can happen when God works in people's hearts. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely hope it's been a blessing and an encouragement to you. If it has, go ahead and hit like. And I'm also going to drop a couple of links in the comments, or not in the comments, in the description, um, to Casey's blog and Facebook page, um, and also another link just if you want to support their mission and what they're doing with the kids there. I know that they would really appreciate it. And if you want to leave them a message, and tell them you're praying for them, drop it in the comments below and Casey will see it. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you next time. God bless.